I'm going to use the modify sub elements that exist within the floor command. You can see that when I've got the floor selected, note not edit boundary, just the floor selected, that modify sub elements popped up. And to create this ramp that goes outside the shop, I've already plugged it in. I've worked out that the height above this structural slab level to here, this structural slab level, is positive 290. So if I hit mod, you can see there's my positive 290, positive 290. I do need to do it to both of those vertices. And down here, I've also done another mathematical calculation and worked out that that's negative 150 below the shop. So I just want to explain that's how I've set up my ramp. And if I come and have a look at that in elevation, east elevation, you can see there's a lot of lines going on. So that's why these reference planes are so important. So I've set these two up so that they're the, in the position of where I want my ramp to be in plan. There they are there. If I wanted to, I might put a name on them so I could remember if there was a whole lot of reference planes, but I'm not, not needing to do that this time. So I'm used to elevation. You can see that I want my ramp to start there, which is just above the floor level there. So just a smidge above the floor level there and a little bit high there, but it needs to come down so that it's perfectly flat by the time that it hits that floor level. So what I'm going to do is back here in my floor level, I'm going to draw a floor, just a simple floor. I'll just use a concrete slab for the moment. Alright, now I'm actually not quite sure how deep this ramp needs to go. If I want it to be 1 in 14, I'm going to have a good guess at it, and then I'm going to put um, an annotate slope, spot slope on it, and just see if I can work out whether the worst will be over here, whether that's still legal, and I might need to move this out a little bit, but that'll be easy enough to adjust. So I've just created that simple floor boundary. It needs to come from the front the shop front or wherever that ramp is ending, I'm um, sorry, ending. There's my floor. And I'm going to modify sub elements. And the first two are easy. They're zero and zero. So by the time our ramp gets to this level, we want that to be meeting perfectly. Now, I don't know what these are, but what I'm going to do is just plug 50 mil in because otherwise I'm not going to be able to pick on those points easily. I'll be able to I'll pick on the wrong ones for sure. So if I go back to my east elevation, and there he is, I hover over it. I'm actually just going to hit modify sub-elements, and obviously the ones I just moved higher are the ones that I'm editing, that's the reason I moved it. I am actually just going to move it down. If I click on this, I should be able to actually click on the intersection point. Zoomed in too far. Now I'll click on this one, modify sub-elements. Alright, that actually took some mucking around. You probably noticed I hit pause for a minute. This end one wasn't selecting. So I ended up having to use a selection window and then just use the control arrows. But because I put the reference plane in and this is aligned, it does allow me to move exactly to where I want it to be. And if I pop into a 3D view, shaded, you can see that it is actually going from the very edges of that ramp. So it's ramping up and it's also ramping down. Probably not able to see where it's ramping down because I've got that so thick. So let me just fix up the internal floor for a minute. Okay, so I've just edited that floor. The floor wasn't extending all the way around. So you can see there's a tiny little ramp down here. If we to turn around, it's a little bit tricky to control this one because I've got a big pad drive. You can see that there is a bigger ramp up on this side. And then it all finishes perfectly flush with that floor if it's zero, 00. I'm just going to hide this CAD drawing. I'm just right clicking and hiding the view. And we've got
got that ramp. So last but not least, I need to check that it's legal. See how my best guess went. So up under annotate, I've got a spot slope, and I'll just go into the edit type. I actually normally I change that unit format so that it's a decimal degree. I do want to show this as a rise over. I guess 100 millimetres is going to do No, one ra a ratio. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So I've got a 1 in 12 is my worst. No, not looking that way. I want it to go straight across. Yep, that's good. So in my cephas angle is only 12. That's perfectly legal. Okay. One ramp done.